In Sheffield, Anita Ramos, 34, and her Brazilian husband, Marcelo, 38, spend every day together working as professional actors and performers. They've been inseparable since they met. I think Marcelo and I make a brilliant team. 13-year-old Jordan and Samuel, 5, were taught to tumble and backflip as soon as they could walk. They spend over nine hours every week trampolining and tumbling. In Worcester, classroom assistant Judy Griffiths, 46, and IT sales executive David, 42, have been married for 20 years, but now lead almost separate lives. We don't even have time to talk about things sometimes. They have four children, Tabitha, 16, Amber, 14, Elliot, 13, and 11-year-old Tristan. Anita and Julie have agreed to swap husbands, homes and children to find out what they can learn from the experience. Family hug. See you about Hey. <laughs> How will a proud dad cope when he thinks his family is under attack? Fuck that. She can fuck off. Woo! I was just trying to do some nice things. I wasn't trying to change them or say bad things about them. What happens when a new wife asks too many questions? Are you really upset? This is my life. You're okay. kind I'm of not, tearing I'm... apart. And how will a tired five-year-old react to a new regime? This is mine! This is mine! In Sheffield, the Ramos family's life is centered around their training and performing. Collectively, they're known as the Daredevils. I am a contortionist, an acrobat, and I um, pair a lot with Marcelo, who's a stuntman. Anita and Marcelo have spent every day of the past 14 years living and working together and couldn't be more in love. I would definitely say that um, We've been married a long time, but it's as fresh as, you know, the day we met. Born in a ghetto in Rio de Janeiro, Marcelo joined a travelling circus when he was 11 and is incredibly proud of what he has managed to achieve. Being a performer in the stuntman and an acrobat saved my life, to be honest. The Ramoses spend their days pushing their bodies to the extreme. I think we're pretty normal. <laughs> Their day kicks off with an early morning alarm, which lets the whole family know another day of exercise and training is about to begin. As a performer and also as a mother, you know, there's not enough hours in the day to sort everything out, so everything has to be on time to a schedule. Their bodies are their livelihood. To keep in peak physical condition, they stick to a strict diet. What you put into your body is really important to us, hence, Lots of vegetables, um, fresh fruits and fish. Their love of acrobatics has been passed down to their sons. At the age of 13, Jordan is four times British tumbling champion. However, his success comes at a price. Like sometimes like when I go to my friend's house, I can only stay there for an hour or two because I'm always training and doing stuff. And five-year-old Samuel is showing early promise on the trampoline with Marcelo as his strict coach. But his three nights of intensive training every week mean he rarely gets to bed before 10 p.m. And getting him up in the mornings is a real challenge. We just give him a half an hour extra in bed. <laughs> but yeah, he can be a bit grumpy. <laughs> In Worcester, Julie and David both work hard to give their children the best start in life. They've sacrificed everything to send all four of them to private school. It's always been an aspiration of mine that we just give the children every opportunity, really. On top of school fees, there are five extra sports at county level to pay for. And when she's not at work, Julie is the free family taxi service to horse riding, rugby and athletics which means time together is rare. We used to go for bike rides and we used to go for walks. Not anymore, it just isn't time. I'm just a taxi service now. To make ends meet, David regularly puts in a 16 hour working day, but there's still no cash left at the end of the month. We don't have spare cash, so we don't live um, an extravagant lifestyle. David was quite the romantic when they first met. He took me out to dinner 
and he bought me flowers and he wrote me songs. However, with so much of their lives revolving around the children, they have seen their romance die. I, th I think we're like a comfortable slipper because we've, we've been married 20 years now. We're very used to each other. We can have long silences and not feel uncomfortable. Although Julie was recently signed off work with severe exhaustion, she remains the linchpin of the family and does all of the housework. And the doctor said, if you don't stop and have a rest, you will collapse and you will fall over and you won't get back up again. My health seems to have got better and I've just gone back to the old Julie and working and nothing's changed. Both wives are leaving home and they've agreed to have no contact with their families during the swap. Bye, Dad. Bye, boys. Bye. Bye. I'm going to miss the boys straight away. So we spend so much time together. Before they meet their new families, both wives have a chance to look around their new homes. This worries me a bit. Um, they look like they're thrown out of it. Gymnastics is their life by the look of it, they, and I think all of them are involved. Look at the wife, look what she can do. Gosh, look at that, with the knives as well. Chips. It needs a good clean as well. Lots of meat. Not so keen on that. It's just really busy and it's really nothing like our living room. I just like minimal. just can't believe the space. There's just nothing here. Each wife has written a manual as a guide to the running of their home. I am a dancer, choreographer and a contortionist. Oh, gosh. And Marcelo is a stuntman and will do acts such as jumping through knives, backflips over cars or piercing his face with a spike. Our work is our life and we dedicate all our time and energy to it. But we do this because we love it. I would describe us as a traditional British middle class family. We have made a huge sacrifice in sending our kids to private school. And every year we spend a vast portion of our income on fees. David and I still believe this controversial decision is the right one for our family, even though it's crippling us financially. Ooh, <laughs> wow. I think it's a bit silly really, especially if they're struggling. We try to encourage Samuel to do as well as Jordan in gymnastics, although he puts up a bit of a fight. So on the days we have training, Samuel goes to bed at 10. Oh gosh, on a school night. Oh. Marcelo and I work hard on our relationship to keep things fresh. He's incredibly loving and we are both romantic. That's lovely. I like the idea that not only do they work together, but they still enjoy their time afterwards. We're not passionate anymore and we've grown apart. I feel we've made a huge mistake letting our relationship slide. I have to really fight for David's attention. As a wife, I feel very unloved. I just feel like I don't want to keep reading anymore because it, it seems to just be going... It's like a spiral and it's going down and down and down. Hello. Hello. Hi. That's yeah, for you. Oh, thank <laughs> you so much. I was you all right. I'm Hello. Marcelo. Hello, Marcelo. That's Jordan. Jordan. Hi, Hi, Jordan. Are you all right? Yeah. And, and that's Samuel. Samuel. Hello, Samuel. Hello. 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 Who's Tristan? Me. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello. And I know there's a tab of the somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> nice to meet Hi. you. What's your name, darling? Amber. Amber. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice big family. Well, we need to start rehearsing today because we've got a show tomorrow. We're doing a show tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do what Anita does. So I go there. Julie is in at the sharp end with just one evening to master the bed of nails. And then I do one, one hand there. there. Hold the other one. And then this foot. Yeah, this foot. There. Go up. Oh, you're right. Oh, I'm much heavier. Okay, lift oh. your arm up. Oh, do you want to go and try it on so we have a look? No, no, I'll go and try it. I'm not coming down if it looks horrible. Judy's life in Lycra starts here. Marcella. Yes? I need something to go around here. It's brilliant. No, it's not. Look, it's showing all You that. don't need nothing. Yes, it does. It's black. You can't see anything. Only hours into her new relationship and Judy is desperate to spill the beans on life Shay Griffiths. You seem to have a lot of laughter in your family too, which we don't. We, we're very serious people. Mm. And that's really sad. And I worry for David as well because he's a very serious 
he's not he will laugh but we never seem to have time to laugh right. um, we don't socialize or do anything like that we could be sat in a car journey a whole car journey and not talk at all if, if you don't talk with Anita a, a whole morning, she will think there is a problem. I mean, I, I'm talking more to you. Sweet family, I feel like maybe there's not a lot of talking goes on. At Shea Griffiths itself, Anita has gone from centre stage to backstairs help. First she must conquer the mountain of washing, and then there's a meal for six to cook. Come on, little piggies. She's such a lively and nice character. I think she'll try and put some like happiness back into her life. I don't eat meat, and it's gonna kill me. <laughs> it's gonna kill me to eat that. Do all your kids go to private school? Yes. Um, it must cripple. It must cripple you yeah, and Julie. We make ends meet. Sure. But yeah, clearly we're, we're stretched. Yeah. And we don't have a lot of spare cash. Sure. Much to Anita's surprise, the kids disappear to different rooms and leave her to wash up as well. I, I walk in here and you, and you feel like it's a family unit, but it's almost like, it feels like a front. Just the thought of getting up tomorrow and doing the same thing all over again and then not actually maybe have a bit of fun at the end of it is quite depressing. Mother of four, Judy Griffiths, has swapped life in the classroom to be one half of the Daredevils. She's just about to make her debut in Barnsley Town Centre. Very anxious, very nervous, very self-conscious at the moment. Let's sing, gentlemen! Now, let's put your hands together for the Daredevils! Yes! I'll say it! I do so! Prepare! <laughs> I was really grimacing in that. Um, I felt very uncomfortable. I hope I haven't embarrassed him. I hope I've done an okay job. Um, but yeah, it's good fun, very exciting. She was well up for it, even though she had to wear a leotard. After years of practice, Marcelo still gets it in the neck. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Sunday should be a day of rest, but in Worcester, contortionist Anita has a whole day of housewifery ahead of her. I've got no problem with chores, but it's it's just chores, 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 and then there's no kind of reward. I just feel a bit, <laughs> feel a bit depressed. <gasps> After breakfast, Anita takes the two boys to rugby and then does the weekly shop. And while the rest of the Griffiths family enjoy some R&R, &R, Anita prepares a full Sunday roast. And after a day of mundane chores, if she's expecting dinner time conversation to lift her spirits, it's unusually quiet. To be honest, there was quite, you know, was quite a pause where nobody was saying anything at all. And I did think, oh, I don't know, I'm going to get through the whole dinner, just like in silence. Having just cleared up from one meal, Anita must now work magic with mints. As per Julie's manual, she has to pre-cook all of the meals for the rest of the week. I understand the concept of why she's doing it. There doesn't seem to be enough time in the day because there's no help, there's no support there. It's, it's quite bizarre because she's in a house with four children and a husband and I personally feel like I'm alone, <laughs> almost. It's 9pm and she's one shepherd's pie and a spaghetti bolognese down. 
but still a chilli con carne to go. I don't know whether it may be Julie's very independent. Maybe she's her own worst enemy and she's taken it all on. Oh, this is exciting. After conquering so nice. the crowds of Barnsley, cool like Marcelo yeah. takes Julie for the Ramos family Sunday night out. Ready. In the buffet restaurant, Marcelo tries to control Samuel's food intake. And you're gonna have a big fat belly. But the garlic bread leads to ice cream. Samuel! You can't have that yet! That's wrong, isn't no. it? You shouldn't have that at all. And that's just for starters. Get some junk, Sam. You've got each proper food. Come on, then. Yes, yeah, Sam was craving ice cream. He desperately wanted that bowl of ice cream. I know Marcel was quite happy to allow him, but he kept saying, that's bad for you, you're going to get fat. Which I thought, mm, don't keep telling me he's going to get fat. It's after 10 p.m. and the amusement arcade's caught Samuel's eye. You're going to let him have a go? You think it's dangerous? No, I was just thinking of the time more than anything. It's very late going to school tomorrow. I've had a lovely night and I really, really you know, would like to go home now. Come on then. I'm, I'm already on mode of school, thinking I haven't sorted uniform out yet. It's almost midnight and five-year-old Samuel still wants to play. Sam has a to play today, didn't you? No, because yeah. oh, Jordan's going to go to bed too. Jordan's, Jordan's tired. Hey, hey. Yeah, what's he doing? No, no, it's play. No, playtime's finished. I feel quite down actually now because we had such a lovely day, a really nice day, and Marcel has made such an effort. And then we've come home, and because Samuel's overtired, he got upset. Julie today um, experienced the hard bit of looking after Samuel because he was crying quite a bit. We let him play for a little bit and now eventually he's going to go to bed. The day before rule change and the alarm wakes Julie early to follow Anita's exercise routine. Getting breathless. I know I'm unfit. Sam, come on. Samuel may have wanted to play last night, but this morning he's not so perky. Come on, I need to go. <coughs> You've got to eat on the table. No. Don't you like eating at the table, Samuel? <coughs> Go, boss. You know everything about me <laughs> because you live here, but yeah. I don't know no much apart from you having four kids and your husband. Mm -hmm. Don't know that much about you. Seems like he loves his family but doesn't love you. I think he does love me, but we've just lost he our way. He doesn't act like we've it. We've just lost our way. Don't you think that's the problem in your marriage? Maybe your husband's having an affair oh or God, something no. like that? Oh, God, no. David wouldn't have an affair. No, he's, no. Why, oh, God, no? He'd never have an affair. He's Why not? not? the type. He's too much of a family man. It's also an early start in Worcester for David, leaving Anita to play housemaid to the children. I've gotten up at 8 o'clock today and I feel more tired. Julie gets up and there's no part of her day that's taken out for herself. Just uh... Julie always seems to be giving herself unnecessary work. Ooh, that's a bit of a shock, isn't it? Hi, Julia. Hi. Okay? Yeah. Do you think it'd be like easy if you maybe had an alarm and then you could wake yourselves up? No, I'm not like that, yeah. I just think she wants to do everything for them because she's almost scared of losing them because without her children, she doesn't really have... Yes, yeah, she's got a husband, but they don't really have much of a relationship, so I think she's, she's hanging on to her children for dear life. It's a school holiday for the Griffiths children, so technically they have loads of time to help out Anita, but do they? Hey! 
I don't usually drink coffee at all. I try to avoid it like the plague. I just feel drained and I feel like I need something and I feel like I can't get through the rest of the day if I don't drink this cup of coffee. have no need of artificial stimulants as they get stuck into one of their three times weekly intensive training sessions. I mean, I'm in awe, actually. I can see why the family are so motivated. When I speak to him and ask him what other hobbies he's got, they, there's only a couple and they're very solitary pursuits. And this is such a concentrated sport. I just feel sometimes you need to release. <laughs> Little Samuel on the trampoline is amazing. Most of the children are only doing an hour session. He's doing three hours, which his 13-year-old brother's doing. It's an intense training. He seems to have lost interest in the trampolining now. It's almost like he's just waiting now for his dad and for Jordan to finish. Jordan's clearly head over heels about tumbling, but what else is on his wish list? I want to learn horse riding and uh, fencing. At the moment I can't do it right now because I've got my uh, tumbling. Being here with Marcelo and the boys and hearing about him and Anita it makes me sadder that we don't spend more time together because when people do, it's lovely. In Worcester, David is the first person to lend Anita a hand all day. Getting up at five o'clock in the morning sort of gives you a little bit of time to sort of think and contemplate things and I was um, conscious that you were absolutely shattered mm. last night. I see you as being as fit as an athlete, really. Yeah. And I just thought, wow, yeah, that's how you Interesting. feel. Yeah. Um, yeah, Julie does this and she's not on top form. You know, I just feel like she's a really sweet lady and she does, like, she's doing so much, you know, and mm. I know that deep down that you probably, you know, not probably you do love Julie to bits, but I just feel like she... It needs to be shared a bit more. Yeah, right? I honestly, I just feel like you need to just show her, mm. you know, um, and 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 tell her that you love her, okay? So, something I'm gonna have to work on. Then. Yeah. Okay. Okay then. Should I get off my soapbox now? Yeah, okay. I'm a slow learner. Slow I learner. Think, Anita, that's part no, of No, you, you, you're pretending no, you're a slow no, learner. Not. I am a slow learner, but once I've learned... Yeah, I'm onto learn. you, because you... I'm, I'm, I'm not convinced yet that you're gonna no. change. Undeterred, Anita decides to get out Julie's manual. But is there anything in there that, you know, surprises you, that, that shocks you? I mean, to read those words that, you know, here, as a wife, I feel very unloved. I mean, how does that make you feel as well, a uh, man? Oh, that's devastating to me. Yeah. It's crippling you that all your children are going to private school. It's a big part of the problem, it's isn't it? It's a huge part of the problem. And it's quite obvious that you're working every hour God sends, both of you. I mean, Julie is, is totally burnt out. She's been ill. Is it worth it at the expense of everything else about you wife's been and is unhappy? I'm not again to private schools, but you can't afford to send four children to private school because she's just put there and you've already admitted that you can't afford to send them. But you still choose to send them and affect, it affects your whole life. If I could say... Yeah, let's take the children out of independent school. And then, yes, we'd be extremely comfortable, Anita. But then it doesn't fix the issues. I need to spend more time nurturing my wife. Mm. Are you really upset? I am really upset. This is my life. You're okay. kind I'm of not, tearing I'm, apart. Would you like to read any, any more of it, or do you feel like you've... You've already seen enough to... I've seen enough, I think. Yeah. OK. Being 
told that basically you know, you've got ideas above your station and that you don't uh, your kids shouldn't be at private school and I'm, every other person uh, basically they've not got the guts to tell me that perhaps it's been more of a strain on um, Julie and I and our relationship than I've been prepared to admit I'm hoping that he's he's taken it in and I, I think maybe we, he just needs to sleep on it and I think maybe I should stay out of his way as well. The alarm signals that it's the start of rule change day and both wives are keen to make their mark. Although I was shocked to learn about what you did for living at first, um, I now realise that you are lucky enough to have a job and lifestyle which you really love. However, sometimes it is chaos in the house. I've been pretty shocked to see Samuel still awake after midnight. I believe that children need rules, routine and a fixed bedtime. From tonight, Samuel's bedtime will be 8.30. And I think that he is too young to be doing so much and needs to enjoy being a child. So for the rest of the week, there is no more trampolining for Samuel. And I have bought you a planner to help you. Your mum, Julie, does everything for you. So from now on, you guys are going to do all the chores. I've done a rotor so you don't actually have to go and say to your mum, would you like some help, OK? Silence. I feel that you treat food as fuel. I'm going to show Samuel how to experiment with food as well as enjoying the occasional treat. I would also like family to eat breakfast and dinner together. Eating a well-balanced diet is part of my family's life and we're going to try a different fish every day. <laughs> What's so funny? I just don't, I can't see myself eating fish. I said try. I don't know if you, you children know, but your dad used to be an old romantic and used to write um, love songs to your mum. So your task is to write her a brand new love song. Jordan, although I admire your dedication to tumbling, I would like to see you relax and just enjoy being a teenager. One evening this week, I want to see you letting your hair down and having fun. On the last night, what I think would be really nice if we'd clear a space and just have like a party and just have some fun. So there are all the rules. <laughs> <laughs> what upsets me, I am being criticised for keeping my, my kids health. I'm not criticising at all about you oh, doing yeah, yeah. the fitness. It's just there's a few tweaks I'd like yeah, to yeah, make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all. know, the relationship with food with us is really a difficult one. So do you think your children will get fat if they had the odd treat? Samuel, come here a minute. What happened to you if you eat too much chocolate? Do you see? I just feel you talk about food all the time. Every That's day. the problem with people with crap. They don't talk about it, they just eat it. But you don't have to keep going on and on. It's like saying, No, don't go like on, a, on. Every day you've mentioned food. Every day. Well, every day we eat. Julie is clearly shaken by the strength of Marcelo's reactions to her rules. And that's before he notices that family photos have been moved off the wall. Da! She came off. <coughs> Bitch. That is disgusting. She disgusted me. That's how I feed my kids that is doing that. And she took that that's the most disrespect. I would never expect that from her. I'm a bit upset. Because <laughs> I love this I love this family so much. And I was just trying to do some nice things. I wasn't trying to change them or say bad things about them. And I just wish I hadn't bothered now. I dive through hoops of knives so my kids can go to the best club in the country. And then she got me and my wife and she put us down there like we, if we were shit. She thinks she's better than 
everybody else. I didn't really expect my dad to react in that way. I just think she didn't know that when she took the picture off that it would make my dad really, really upset. <laughs> Food's going to be spoiled. This upsets me. I've gone to a lot of trouble. It's all got a bit flat, really. I feel like just going to bed, actually. I wonder if I go upstairs. <laughs> Sorry. An hour later, and Marcelo offers an olive branch. Do you want to talk? We were in the morning. I only did it for a bit. I was really shocked that you reacted like that. What do you think I felt when you said, do you think David's having an affair? I mean, that's really, really a serious thing. And I didn't get into, in, burst into tears and say, Say, like, Marcella, you've just said my husband's having an affair. Hi. Hi. Better sort Jordan and some of you lot. Okay. I don't want them to be tired for school. Can I have a hope then? Tomorrow. In the Griffiths household, they're about to experience that rare culinary delicacy. Fish. I've been very kind to you. See, can you see any eyes or any tails or scales? Well, no. <laughs> It goes, guys. It goes. Nice. Oh, no. It's okay. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> it must be you helping all of I am. Anita's um, rule changes are meeting with a mixed reaction. I'm most upset about the chores. It's had to dust and clean the bathroom. There are a few surprises, especially with my dad's romantic song for my mom, which I think is so funny. <laughs> So nice to see you. It's almost like you're a different. It's like you're a different person. You know, when you sat behind the computer. I think the mood's a lot more upbeat, and um, the house seems to have got a bit of sparkle back. Next morning, the Griffiths children are embracing change. I'm being really surprised actually because the boys have been really enthusiastic about it and I think they're really enjoying it actually but <laughs> hopefully that'll last. Not all of Judy's rule changes are so eagerly embraced. The Ramos family are supposed to eat breakfast together at the table. Come on, sir. I only have nine minutes now, so you have to do it. Yeah, you sit here and have it then. No! Yes. No! No, I want you to sit down. Do it! Do it! It's mine! This is mine! I know it's yours and I want you to eat it. I want you to eat it. I wouldn't back down at home, so I wouldn't back down here. The fact he doesn't really discipline Samuel when he's at home is very interesting because he's very strict at the workplace. Why that is, I don't know. He just needs routine, and he needs to know where the boundaries are. It was a body blow last night. It was more of a shock than anything for me. You no, know, I didn't realise that it was going to be such an impact for Marcelo to have a picture removed off the wall for the planner to be hung. It might not have been put in the most appropriate place. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit, I was very upset about that. Marcelo wants to explain why Julie has touched a raw nerve and reminded him of his unhappy childhood. I'm very scared. Scared of what? I'm, you know, I'm really, really afraid of my kids go through what I've been through. There was times that um, I saw my mum lay on the bed without having enough to give to us. Go on. I would never leave my kids. You know, my father left me. My mother never had anyone to love her. <laughs> my father was nice to her. That's why I was so sad. You know that you know your relationship is going that way <laughs> because you know my mother never had any love. I didn't want to be like my father. <laughs> I 
shall we walk? Yeah, let's walk. Yeah, it makes more sense now why he was so angry last night. After hearing that story, I can see why he doesn't want to discipline Samuel. His dad abandoned them. That wasn't discipline, that was just not caring. And I think he's getting the two confused. I think the boys need a routine. I think the boys want that. They, not, they want the boundaries. Dance to the daddy sing, to the mummy dance, to the daddy, to the mummy sing. Thou In Worcester, have a it's time for the fish of the day. Shilo, she'll have a summon when the board comes in. It's much fishier the than the tuna, isn't it? Mmm, it's nice. Do you like it? Yeah, I like Yay! Fish. What's it called again? This is salmon. Yeah. Are you going to try some fish as well, Elliot? Yeah, please. Can I have a bit. That's great. Oh, it doesn't taste like fish. It tastes like a bit like chicken. Try it with some potatoes. It just tastes like fish to start off with. Does everybody know about um, Friday? You know, we're going to have like a party and do like a performance. Yeah. yeah I thought yeah. it'd be really good if um, we had like the Tristan show mm. and like yeah. compers. Marcelo and Jordan are at training, but in accordance with no, Julie's like rules, yeah, Samuel has definitely. stayed at home to make chocolate crispy treats. She stopped him from going to the club training and play with his friend to stay at home with a 46 years old woman, yeah? which benefits will he get from, from it? All's going well. Don't me. Until bedtime. I can't stay here forever. We're not going to stay here forever. I will die. No, Daddy will be back later. No. Don't hit me. No. no. Daddy. Daddy. Don't hurt me. Daddy. I wish he was here to be honest, you know, because I, I believe that's more he trained, the better he's gonna get. Dad is coming in a minute and you can tell Daddy why you're not in bed. Hopefully if he goes to bed I'll have peace and quiet in my house. Mind the coming now. Mind, mind your It's 9.45 p.m. Hello. Hello Daddy. Alright. No, he won't go to bed, Daddy. Julie's got an ace up her sleeve. Sorted out your fencing. She's yes. arranged for Jordan to do something nice. he's always wanted. Well, I'm taking Jordan, yeah. and you're spending the night with Samuel. Can't wait for that. Oh, yeah. What have you wanted to do for a long time? I, I, feel, I feel like she's splitting my family. We are very close, and we do things together, and she's splitting us. If you two girls place yourselves there... Rehearsals are well on the way for the Griffiths family fun night. Step one, two and three. It'd be nice to do something as a family that we can all enjoy. I adore her. You know, everything I do is for her and I don't mind um, expressing it. Um, I guess it, it's... You know, I don't know why I don't do it more, really. It's given me a, a wake-up call in terms of my life and, and where we are going. We look the part, I think. <laughs> Jordan's having a stab at a new pastime. Have to shake hands at the end. I've really enjoyed it and it's a thing what I wanted to do for a very, very long time and to come today and do it, it's just been really, really fun and I hope to come again. Even though I, I love uh, my dad and Sammy, I'd just like to have, you know, some time to myself to do what I want to do. It's 9.30pm and Marcelo should have had Samuel in bed an hour ago. Come Samuel, please. You're not being very nice, are you, son? Sleep like a baby, then. No! I am not a baby! Okay. You are! Sorry. Oh, I'm in trouble. Julie's going to kick my butt. It took me about an hour to get him to sleep, but I did it. <laughs> I thought she was asleep, son. All gone down the hill. 
I've tried three times and he came down three times. So if, if I say he's asleep now, he probably gonna come down again. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Brilliant. Yeah, really enjoy that. Yeah. I can show you what I've been learning, you know, in a minute. Yeah, yeah, sure. So. Have some it was the fastest three hours in my life. I had a taste of it and I want to do more. You kind of split us up and then Julie was taking charge of everybody. My family do things together, mm -hmm. your family does things separate. Well, Julie. I was just trying to get Samuel to have a, yeah. a five-year-old's bedtime yeah. because I just think he was going to bed far too mm -hmm. late. You know, with your exercise concerned, you've got very, very definite rules. And yet at home, you've got very few rules. It's almost like they can do what they want. When I coach Samuel on the trampoline, I'm his coach. When I come home, I'm his soft dad. I'm soft, that's it. You know, I thought it would be the other way around, but I actually learned something with you. Samuel got to go to bed at 10 o'clock when his mom not here. Mm. And that's good. That's good. 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 Thank you. <laughs> it's the final night of the swap, and Anita is hoping that the Griffith family fun night will prove that a family that plays together yep. stays together. But who has the X Factor in this house? Hello, I'm your host for this evening. What would happen if an elephant drank too much whiskey? Don't know what would happen. It would get drunk! <laughs> Our next contestant is Dad. <laughs> Anita, what do you think about your new family and who is your favourite person? Well, I think this family is fantastic. You're all my favourites. You're my favourites. Yes! <laughs> OK, good enough answer. And then it's all changed for the big finale. It's just so nice that it's come to such a lovely end. Um, all the family together having fun. <laughs> Get ready to pose, go! Hold it there. Five, six, keep it holding. Anita has brought us like, a lot closer together and she can show us that we can do our own individual things but we can bring them together. I'm quite um, looking forward to meeting Julie. I'm quite intrigued to see the lady who has been doing this <laughs> for weeks and months and years. It's the end of the swap and both wives are preparing to leave. I've learned to appreciate my life and how much fun I have at home. I'm going to really miss them. It's been absolutely wonderful and I've enjoyed every single minute. Hi, it's really good having you. I'm going to miss you so much. Okay. Bye, darling. Hello. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're all right. <laughs> oh, I love you. Did you miss me? You. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I do think there are quite a lot of fundamental things wrong in your in your household. A lot of serious things. You don't really communicate to each other and I mean, Marcelo and I were very open. Yes, we, you were. <laughs> yeah, we, t we were constantly mm. chatting. It was really, really good, wasn't it? We talked a lot, didn't we? Yeah, it was such a lot. Stop. Yeah. Well, that definitely didn't happen in your house. No. no. Is that not quite a kind of a telling sign? I mean, I would love to talk more to David. I'd love us to do more together. It's almost we've thrown ourselves into the children. And, and I well, do they're not so going to be there forever, I Julie. Know, and this is it. I mean, do you not talk to each other at all? A bit. Julie, come on. No, we, we do. do. We do. It's <laughs> not fair to say we don't no, we talk. No, do we do talk. Yeah. But because we don't do enough together, mm. we sure. sort of run out of things to say sometimes. So I heard all uh, Julie's side about how you guys didn't talk and stuff like that. Mm. And very, very protective of women. Mm. <laughs> and I thought, how the hell can a man not pay any attention to his wife or don't talk and stuff like that? I, I thought maybe he have somebody else who he talk to, you know? <laughs> I said to Julie, do you think he's having an affair? <laughs> <laughs> And they said, no, no. <laughs> I 
I know you work really hard and, and David and I have discussed like, you know, the children go to private school and it is crippling you financially. And you can't actually afford to send your four children to private school and I think that's where no, kind of I, the I, question I'd have to pull you up on that because mm. if we couldn't afford it, Anita, they wouldn't go. Right. So we clearly can, it just it puts a lot of pressure on that. If the children had been that little bit younger, then, um, and we were feeling like this, we'd have to do something about it. Because you do that, um, you're losing other aspects of family life. Well, yeah. I think, I really think that there's been far too much conversation really about how much a problem sure. private education is. My challenges, I, I think my challenges are my challenges, and I don't mm -hmm. think there's necessarily a direct link to the children going to an independent school. I think we need to be more loving. And I've been saying that all through our marriage. Even, mm. even at the beginning, I said to Dave, we must make time for us. And I do admire you both for that. Everybody's got to realise how much you're doing for them. I was going and going and doing and doing. There was nothing. There was no light at the end of the tunnel. Something's going to happen to you. What hopefully this exercise has done has really given the children some exposure to the fact that you know, we're people too and that we need some time and they'll pull their weight a little bit more. Did um, Samuel give you a hard time, Julie? A little bit, but I'm used to it. <laughs> a little bit? <laughs> a big bit? The only thing I found hard is how late it was. I'm just not used to children, you know, him being in bed late. You seem to do most of putting yeah. him to bed. I, I, it's a that's one thing that Marcelo does need yeah. to support me Because on. you'll do anything not to be <laughs> confrontational with yeah. Samuel. Because he won't not love you for saying you've got to go to bed, Samuel. And Jordan needs time on his own. I agree. So. Yeah, he never have any time on his own. Hello! Hello! Hiya! Hello! Hiya. 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 You're getting taller, aren't you? Hiya. Hiya. Nice, thank you very much. Mm. Hello, little man. Oh, did you miss mummy? How many? Show me how many. Oh, so glad to be home. It's so nice. You know, it's been, it has been a, like a real journey. And, you know, I do, I do feel like I've learned to almost appreciate my family and how much fun we have together and, and my life. So what's the reason for this list, guys? Uh, to help oh, Mom. To help me. To That's help. good. Is this going to carry on? Maybe. Absolutely lovely. It's so nice to see you playing your guitar again. It's really lovely. Two months on, and in the Ramos household, some of Julie's rule changes right, have had a long-term effect. Now, my sword's here. Where are you going to hit me? No, not that. I'm really glad she let me have a day off to do anything what I wanted. It was fence, and it was brilliant. That was the thing what I loved her the most for. Him doing, you know, another sport just purely for recreation is fantastic and that's something that he's really enjoyed and he will continue doing. Samuel, five minutes to go to bed, please. Okay. I mean, if it's yeah. one thing I'm taking away from that, it's making sure Samuel follow the rules when his mom's not here. Mm. Samuel going to bed now is getting better. We try to get, get him to bed much earlier. Yeah. We appreciated each other before, but we really appreciate our relationship and how close we are. Yeah. I mean, it didn't really hit me until we, we sat on the table meet and then I saw Julie and her husband. One thing I'm taking from that is make sure we don't end up like that. Definitely. But in the Griffiths household, there have been major changes too. We go walking quite regularly now. When we're walking, we talk more because yeah, that's it's an opportunity, it's an opportunity to to, mm. without the children to mm. actually mm. put the worlds to right. Because yeah. I think we weren't talking at all before we've been away. To the theatre. So we've done a few so things. So we're getting there slowly. Still not as much as I would like. No. I've got to be honest, there's still things I would like to change. Tabitha? Can you rally the troops to come and set the table? I think it's given the children some 
insight into quite how much Julie does for them. We have tried to help more, but my mum and dad aren't as strict as they are. Like, you have to do it. It's more of something that we volunteer to do because we want to do it to help out mum. She asks us to do a little bit more now and probably nagging a bit, us a bit more. Right, I want the table clear, please. Everybody can help. I'm making more time for myself. I just shut myself off and lose myself in a book. You know, I have to make sure that I show you how much I care and that you, know, you understand that. We are, we are talking a lot more and doing more mm, together. I think so. So, yeah, it's been good. Mm. So that's the one thing that we've mm. taken out of Life Swap, then it's been great. Mm.